Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, Perion Winfrey has been cut by the Browns. After there was a video on him on Instagram basically being tough with this girl, he was threatening her, and the girl claims that he pulled a gun out on her. So, here's a look at the video if you have not seen it. What are you about you to do? Perion, what are you, you about to do? Me? You don't think it's on me? I will smack the shit out of both of y'all. Why are you I will smack the shit out of both of y'all. Right here? What the fuck is wrong with you? In front of all these people? What the fuck is wrong with you? In front of all these people? Get the fuck out of here, bro. So when I seen this video, I already knew what it was. I knew the Browns was going to cut Perrion because they have been dealing with his behavior problems since his rookie year last year. They've been dealing with his problems. They've been giving him chances. They've been patient, you feel me? But he came into the league with this shit, man. He was suspended week two for behavior issues. Then he was a healthy scratch for three consecutive games which could be linked to behavior problems or just some on the field problems, you feel me? Which doesn't help his case regardless, you feel me? Then he missed a game due to a concussion that he lied about saying that he was riding his scooter, you know, one of the scooters around the city and crashed into a pole, which is very possible, you feel me, when you think about it. Anybody that rode a scooter, you know, it, stuff like that can happen, you feel me? The scooters, they can get a little out of control. But what really happened was he was just reckless, reckless driving in the snow and, you know, he crashed the whip. That's how he got the concussion. And then he got into an altercation in April with a woman that he was dating, and he ended up injuring her, bro. He didn't get cut. He didn't get suspended or none of that, you feel me? He basically got a slap on the wrist and got put into a diversion program, and he got his misdemeanor dropped. You feel me? And the league is big on domestic violence. You will get cut and never picked up again about domestic violence, you feel me? So... He really got off, you know? And the fact that you turn around after that same situation that your case just got dropped for a month ago, and you get into another scuffle with a woman to where you telling her you'll slap the shit out of her and don't think I don't got it on me. Refer it sounded like he was referring to his gun. And then the woman captured captions the video saying that he pulled a gun out on her and stole her phone and all this other stuff and drove off. And he did this in the smack middle of downtown bro people be on that street they probably seen him and if she didn't record him somebody else probably recorded him or somebody else could have recorded him you feel me so he was being very irresponsible wasn't being smart just didn't care about his actions you feel me like come on you being tough to a woman pulling the gun out on a woman and you let this affect your career and you let this get you cut you feel me you worked so hard to get to this level and you let women get you cut bruh i just don't get it you feel me it's just sad to see that we gotta let go of perion for this because we were all excited to get perion bro we thought perion was a second round talent he dropped to the fourth round many teams view perion as a boomer bust player you feel me so clearly that's really what he is a boomer bust player and that's what he turned out to be a bust for us because he couldn't keep his behavior issues together you feel me that's all it is Perrion had a lot of potential. I'm not saying he was going to be an all-time great, but I think he had potential to be a, a solid D tackle in the league, you know? And with the way the Browns' defensive tackle situation is, he could have easily capitalized on the lack of depth, on the lack of star power there, and carved out a starting role, you feel me? If he wanted to put in the work for it. Now he has no job. Now he got to hope another team gives him a second chance, which I think they will. But I'm not mad at the Browns for cutting him, you feel me? The Browns, we been through this numerous times with other players we gave josh gordon numerous chances we gave antonio callaway chances you feel me we gave johnny manziel chances we gave players chances that had these type of qualities bro we cannot keep players like this around bro you want to you can't get your act together you can't get down with the program you ain't ready to focus on football and win championships win games you gotta go especially when we got women involved you gotta go man so yeah, it's sad to see that, you know, we wasted a fourth round pick on Perion, but at least it wasn't a second round pick, you feel me? We could look at it like that. But let me know what y'all think about Perion, man. It's just crazy because he want to pull the gun out on a woman. But, man, when they up the gun on you trying to rob you for your shit, you hide behind a car, you feel me? I mean, I would have hit behind a car too, you feel me? But, hey, you see, it's not, it, it's, it doesn't feel good to get a gun pulled out on you, man. So why you got to be doing the girls like that, man? But yeah, what do y'all think, man? Do y'all think we should sign another D-Tackle? Who do you want that D-Tackle to be if we sign somebody? 
And do you think Periana get another chance in the league? And just in general, how do you feel about this? Like, comment, subscribe, and I got more content coming soon.